in terms of your output, you actually get both the text and the audio output. And I'll explain why this is useful in a minute. But the speech to speech API is going to generate text and audio at the same time. So there are a couple of interesting things to note about this real time API. And the first is that the output is faster than real time. What this means is that the response text and audio chunks are generated faster than they can be spoken. So essentially, if you were to play back the audio as fast as it was generated, it would actually be speaking over itself. It would be speaking multiple words at the same time because it can generate those audio sequences faster than they can be spoken. So what you need to do is you need to put the audio in a buffer. You don't want to play multiple words at the same time. But this opens up a very interesting possibility coupled with the fact that both text and audio are generated by the real-time API. And that is if you want to put guardrails on the output. Guardrails are essentially having an LLM or some other system check that the real-time API is not generating content that you don't want it to say. So for instance, you might not want to talk about adult content, or you might not want to talk about a competitor if you were going to turn this into a real production product. So the guardrails could actually check the output of the real-time API by looking at the text. And then the guardrails can basically have a true or false signal to say, hey, this content is safe, or hey, this content is unsafe. And if the content is not up to the content standard, you can actually take the audio output buffer and mute or clear it. This is just one way to approach this. There are many ways to deal with guardrails and your LLM. But I think that this is just a simple example of using both the text output to moderate your output, as well as generating the audio output into a buffer. The other thing that's interesting here is that you are able to interrupt the model. And that is essentially because it's generating the response so fast. So essentially, when you interrupt the model, your voice activity detection is detecting that you're speaking again. And you can use that same idea to say, hey, clear the output buffer or mute it so that the user can speak again and we can respond to the new information that they've sent in.